America deserved 9-11, dude. I'm saying it. Hate is a pretty strong word. And there's only a few things in this life that I hate. I hate tomatoes. I absolutely hate them when they put two fat, juicy tomatoes in my burger. I hate that. I hate when they don't put enough jalapenos on my taco. And something else that I hate is hypocrites. And when I'm talking about hypocrites, I'm talking about people who pretend to be socialists while having a $3 million mansion. That's exactly who Hassan Piker is. And in case you guys are lucky enough to have never, ever heard of this stupid moron. He's this left-wing political YouTuber. And I don't dislike him because of the politics. Everyone here knows that I'm not a politics guy i don't dislike him because he's in the left if he was on the right i would hate him equally and it blows my mind that there's people out there who like his type of content he claims to be a socialist despite having a twitch contract and who owns twitch amazon he claims to be a socialist yet he has a three million dollar mansion in la has a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar porsche really this is your socialist this fucking moron and in case you guys follow me on twitter and if you don't please follow me i would really appreciate a new account i made two tweets referring to this guy earlier today one of them I say, I wish the worst for Hassan Piker. Fuck that guy. And you might say, wow, you really dislike this guy. What did he do? This goes back to the whole Kaisen that situation to the right. And here he is reacting to the clip of a 60 year old man who was caught in this situation, who was stolen from. And here we have Hassan, a quote unquote socialist, laughing at him. Just doing his job, going about his day, and uh, his, his business got ransacked there. Um, but from where we are here, you know, th it does that the officers are are heading back and heading back um you know in terms you of see what they're being doing able to disperse this crowd that that they were able to do um you know we did a, a story a couple weeks ago about how they were able to go after uh scooters by kind of circumventing them in that sense and it, it from my perspective that's i fucking despise local media dude there you go there is no better representation of how dog water local media is and how much they how much they exacerbate like narratives that you see on Fox News, what role they play in the boomer reactionary pipeline. Local media talking about $3 worth of fucking Doritos. Like, you know, there was a bank run or some shit. Really, Hassan, you're gonna pretend to be a socialist while this guy is working minimum wage trying to make a living trying to sell fucking chips and snacks? Sorry not all of us are talented enough to eat food and stream to a whole bunch of fucking losers like you do. And the reason why I'm so fired up here, I just can't stand this guy. He's such a fucking hypocrite. And this fucking loser is not even paying attention. This vendor was 60 years old and he was being assaulted. He was being robbed. And Hassan's like, oh, you know, the boomer media. Who cares? It was only $3 worth of fucking Doritos. He's a fake socialist and he's a multi-millionaire who profits off his fan stupidity. And of course, Hassan cannot relate because he's a rich boy. It still sucks. You know, this was a 60 year old man who was assaulted. He's not a multi-millionaire like you are. You know, he's not talented enough to steal people's content. I found another video of that same situation. And tell me, Hassan, was this over $3? Chill, 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 chill. Yo, they violated, bro. Why they do that to him? Yo, chill. Yo, 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 chill, chill. Chill, chill, yo. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, yo. Nah, chill, chill. Was it over a $3 Dorito bag, Hassan? They're stealing from the fridge. It wasn't just $3, you stupid retard. It was more than that. This is their fucking business. Do you think anyone at the age of 60 wants to work? When you're 60, you want to go to the beach and fuck hoes. Okay, you wanna fuck them raw because you're like, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna fucking die, I might as well get AIDS already. This is done out of necessity, something once again, Hassan, a fake socialist, cannot understand. And I was reading Hassan's chat, and everyone's bullying this fucking old guy. I saw someone call him a pussy. I've noticed something, all these people on the left, I'm talking Hassan, I'm talking Nick's Not Green, I'm talking Ethan is online, I'm talking Noah Sampson. All of those fucking losers are the same. They claim to be progressive, they claim to be cool and accepting and awesome, Unless you're against them, because if you are against them, they're gonna call you an asshole. They're gonna call you an idiot. They're going to call you a useful idiot. This is Hassan being out of touch. The amounts of times this guy has said stupid shit and people go crazy over it. He's one of the worst people on the internet. And if you're one of his fans and you're like, he's so relatable. Once he gave pizzas to the writers.
Okay, you bought 20 pizzas? So was that $250,000? How much money have you given to charity? And I'm not talking about you using your fans for donations. I'm talking you. Your own money from your bank account. In California, where people are homeless more than ever, is a $3 mansion really worth it? Is a car worth over $200,000 really worth it? And I just hope one day all of your fans wake up and they see the kind of person you are. How could anyone take this guy seriously? Once again, this is how a 60-year-old man survives. Do you think he won? Wants to be there but he has to work i think kai being black and his uh audience being like black as well also will factor into the way that the media covers this you know what i mean because people will immediately be like oh this is gang activity why is color everything to these people i can't stand this guy he's one of the worst things to happen to the internet and one of the worst things to happen to america since 9 11. i don't really hate anyone on the internet i dislike a lot but believe me when i tell you i fucking hate hassan piker crazy that people still believe him for being the socialist when he's far from it he loves capitalism yet all of his fans fall for it and give him more money <laughs> Which is really fucking funny. And hey, that's not to say I hate capitalism. I love it. I'm just open about it and honest. I'm not some fake person who's like, yeah, you know, capitalism, bad. Give me some money so I could buy another million dollar house. Thank you. Hassan criticizes Elon Musk all the time. He criticizes Jeff Bezos all the time. Yet, he gets paid by a company that he started. Yet, he's a multi-millionaire. He has like 60,000 subscribers on Twitch. And he gets millions of views per month. I know that a lot of his fans are going to see this and go and dislike and leave me comments and uh i don't give a fuck stay mad <laughs> to those of you who enjoyed this video please subscribe i will really appreciate it and don't forget to like make me a multi-millionaire please every day i'm getting closer and uh, i promise i am a socialist you know subscribe <laughs> and give me money please